What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video. My name is Bijan in case anybody's new here and in this video we're going to be going over a quick trade recap here on a trade that I did today on Boeing which we made about $9,300 profit while the stock was going down. So I'm going to try and do a quick trade recap here. Um, what we were doing here, I'll expand this so I can kind of show you guys the um, what we were trading and all that but this is really all that matters. We'll go over the orders real quick and then we'll jump into the charts and then we'll kind of wrap it up from there. So uh, main reason I want to make this video is because of the fact that I saw a lot of people on Instagram were kind of getting a little bit, you know, like how they were back in the day saying, what do you, what happened, how did the stock, it was going down and you made a profit, what? Uh, so I want to kind of just do this, to give a little more detail than I did to people on Instagram and just in case anyone else wants to see. So, um, long story short, we'll go over the orders, talk about it on the chart, talk about what I was looking at, what I saw, why I got in and all that, and we'll wrap it up from there. So, 20 contracts is what I mainly started with here. I had 20 contracts that got filled at 270. So if we do the math there, that's 20 times 270, which is 5,400. Then I added in an additional five contracts a few minutes later, right around the 639 area for 200 each. I know it shows like 2.70 or 2.00, but with options, one is equivalent to 100. So if it shows $2 or it shows 2.70, it's 200 or 270. So the first 20 I got for 270, that put us at 5,400. Then I added in five more for about a thousand there. So the total cost of the trade here was $6,400. Now that doesn't mean that's what we were going to lose. I always like to use my used car example since we're kind of talking towards some new people here. If you buy a used car for 6,000, let's just say $6,000, you think you can sell it for 7,500, then you turn around and find out, no, you were wrong. Well, you can always sell it for 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000, you get what I'm saying? You're not just gonna drop it on the side of the road and say, well, here we go, we just lost all the money. Uh, you know, you can have a plan to get out at a certain point. So anyways, besides that, um, the cost of the trade, total investment at that point was 6,400. And then a few hours later, I sold all 25 of them for 6.30 each. So it shows 6.30, but that's 630. So 25 times 630, that's 15,750. So we basically bought the used car for $6,400 and then we sold it for 15,750 in a few hours, if you really think of it that way. Because I mean, that's technically, that's exactly what happened. So that that's pretty much that. That's the profit. You subtract the difference. So subtract... 6,400 from the 15,750 and that's where you have this $9,350 profit here and then to kind of show it to you guys on the chart here this is what we were doing is I was mainly and I had this on the watch list as well I basically said that if we can kind of break below the 250 or if we even gap below the 250 area and struggle to get back above it I'm going to be looking at it from a short per, uh, short perspective a short position I wanted to get short on it get some puts um, and anyways long story short that's exactly what I did I got in it a little bit shy of the 250 remember the first entry was at the 631 i believe um yeah 631 is where it was and i was at the 249 ish area where i first entered so probably somewhere like right around here um yeah and then the other five that i added in was right up here uh we were getting close to my stop and all that too but i added in to just a little bit more get myself to a full size position there uh that put us to the 6400 total cost of the trade and then basically as the stock died and as the value of the stock went down the value of our puts increased so you can see we basically got in here added in here so we can say like our average price was somewhere like right around here maybe I don't know, I'm just making lines everywhere now. And as the value of the stock went down, the value of our puts went up from 270 and 2 to 630. And that's where we basically made 9,300. And that, that's pretty much that. I didn't want to make this too long of a video. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to keep it too short and just like, oh, okay, dude, you just told me where you got in and out. That didn't really help much. Um, but hopefully it helped a little bit to kind of show you guys the mechanics of it and kind of show you guys, answer some beginner questions. Um, I, like I said, I was mainly watching that 250 area. It was a key area. It was also on a, uh, what you would call it, like a technical indicator that I use on the yearly time frame and all that as well. So... I mean, it broke below it, didn't really get back above it, got in it. I had my plan, stuck to my plan. Everything worked out, got out of the trade. Uh, and that's pretty much that. And it, this one was on the watch list as well. So I'll wrap it up here, guys. You know, I do my rambling. I don't think I forgot anything. But if anybody wants to join our watch list, you want to see what we're trading.
I'll just put all the links in the description below so that you guys can do what you need to do. You know, the social media, who's Bijan T on everything. I'll put those links there as well. Um, yeah, if you guys want to learn how to trade, just, just go to the website and all that. And that's pretty much that. I don't think I forgot anything, but I'm just kind of going just in case. Um, Oh, yes, I forgot it. I knew it. Subscribe, guys. Hit the thumbs up and, and just hit everything else that you can. And just have a great night. Have a great life. And I'll talk to you all soon.